All right, so we're out here at night now, and we've got the scope set up, and we're going to demonstrate some polar alignment. If you look at the uh, the offline planning resources video, at the end there's a section where I show you the polar alignment app on the iPad and that's what I recommend you do when you're starting out if you've got a polar scope on your mount um, and just use that to look at Polaris and the the um, the app will tell you where in the setting circle you're going to see um, the reticule inside the polar scope where to put Polaris so that's what I recommend you do if you can see Solaris, Polaris and uh, that should be good enough uh, for beginning. Just, this, uh, you know, the Atlas and Sirius mounts have a polar scope here you can see in front of my hand uh, that go right through the, this is the RA axis of your scope and so there's the eyepiece on this end and you reach around here in the front and there's a dust cap lens cap so you take those off and then you can see through here assuming that your scope is in the position where this deck shaft that comes down through the mount this way it's the same shaft that has your counterweights on it uh, it has a slot in it and so the mount has to be turned in such a way that the slot is aligned with the polar scope and the hole on the side. So, uh, I've, I'm bringing this up because I've noticed it's different between my mount and uh, a friend's mount who has a stock uh, Sirius mount. Mine, again, I bought used and there were some upgrade kits that I put on it, one of which was a upgraded saddle. And when I put that saddle on, now the slot is open when the scope is in the home position which makes sense to me but I notice my friends he can see through the polar scope when the telescope is 90 degrees from the home position I think maybe that was intentional if you had a really long refractor or something sticking out here it might kind of be in your way when you have to look through this polar scope down here but I prefer mine this way so whichever way it is for you it's another one I use another app I use on the iPad polar alignment this I use for a couple things it gives you your your current GPS coordinates both in decimal form and in uh, hours minutes and seconds so that's handy for inputting into your planetarium and into EQ mod or your your ASCOM control software and then this is telling me uh, when I look through my polar scope on my my uh, Sirius or Atlas mount it's telling me where I need to put Polaris on the setting circle um, to be truly polar aligned and you can actually turn the camera on your iPhone or iPad and put this up against the uh, polar scope and line things up that way. I, I, that's a little too much contortion for me uh, with astrophotography. You've got the mount set as low as possible to the ground to avoid uh, vibration and that puts the polar scope low and pointed towards the ground so it's hard enough to get my eye down there let alone uh, a camera and then uh, you know the, the ID, iPad or iPhone and then get my be able to see that so what I do is I just kind of eyeball it, fix in my mind, you know, where on the circle that Polaris needs to be and then go in there with my eye and put it in that spot. And we'll learn later with uh, PhD2 how to fine-tune the polar alignment or do polar alignment even if you can't see Polaris.